Welcome back, my duelist friends. Casual duelist here. And yesterday I gave you guys a deck profile for the $30 budget build as far as the Crystal Beast deck goes. And uh, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to perform a uh, test hand or three. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that you guys can kind of look forward to being able to do. Um, again, we are going to be using three copies each of our fusion monsters that were included with the deck. Nothing in this deck is going to come from outside of the deck. Um, that said, maybe you haven't seen the profile yet. Uh, go ahead. It's, it's yesterday's video. Just uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go first, second, and we'll decide on the third one. Uh, what we're going to end up doing and seeing just how well this deck sets up as is. Uh, so we need one, two, three, four, and five with no draw. We have, we've already got our Rainbow Dragon uh, Crystal Beast, which is nice. Uh, we got a copy of Awakening the Crystal Ultimates, which is nice. We got our counter with our Crystal Miracle. Uh, Crystal Bond, we got two copies of Crystal Ultimates. So that's almost something you don't want to see, but I'm okay with it right now. So let's show you guys what I would do to set up. The, the first move should simply be to play the Crystal Bond. You see, I don't have any ultimate crystals, so these two spells are actually dead to me uh, for right now. So what we can do with the Bond is add one Crystal Beast from deck to hand and one with a different name into our spell Trap Zone. So I'm going to add Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus to hand. And I can add one to my back row. Um, and again, it doesn't really matter who you pick. Um, you could go cute and get the carbuncle. Um, we could threaten more power, though. If you guys want to threaten more power, um, you could go with the Rainbow Dragon. Um, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and go with the carbuncle. Uh, go ahead and shuffle and cut. Because again, we went through the deck. Um, so again, we'd have that, um, no real need to have actually shuffle that. Uh, we go ahead and play the Saf Pegasus, uh, in order to get another card into our back row. Uh, but again, without the ultimate crystal in our hand, you're not going to do too much except set up for the crystal miracle, which will allow you to destroy one of your, uh, crystals in order to do something. So again, we kind of want to set up another one that we can just kind of pop. Um, and for right now, I think the one I would be choosing would be another copy of Sapphire Pegasus. Because again, if we draw into one of our Rainbow Dragons, or a card that allows us to get into the Rainbow Dragon, um, if we draw into our Crystal Promise, um, and stuff like that, we'll be able to uh, summon the Carbuncle, move the entire back row forward. Uh, if the opponent attacks our Pegasus, um, we can go ahead, we can summon and drop our big 3k monster out of our hand. We still have the ability to absolutely just gobsmack with our counter trap. Um, and then we can also set up for once we do have, again, another card. Again, we're not going to draw it there, but so it is when you're doing test hands. So, I do think this deck goes better going second. So that is... Let me just kind of shuffle over here real quick. And then uh, we'll just try the same deck. We'll just go ahead and we'll go second this time. Um, because again, I, I do think that you lose some of the motion by going first uh, with the structure build. Uh, I don't think that's going to be too big of an issue once we get into uh, the actual advanced list build for this. Um, because I think we're going to be able to add enough cards to just really counteract it. This way I don't have to shuffle too many times out here. So, I'm going to be one, two, three, four, five, uh, plus a draw. We'll turn that one sideways. Take that here in a second. So we would start with our Rainbow Dragon again, the Crystal. Uh, the Crystal Bond, we got the Rainbow Dragon this time, so we could activate it. We got our Ultimates, we got our Pegasus. Uh, this is actually pretty good. And then we're going to draw. We're going to have the Crystal Keeper. 
Uh, so again, we can definitely protect one of our characters. So let's do a shenanigan. Um, what do I want to do? I want to crystal bond. I want Carbuncle in the back. The opponent wouldn't know that we had another Saf Pegasus, so we could go ahead and add Pegasus to hand. And again, we're going to put the Carbuncle in the back row. So that'll be that. You play your Pegasus. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll add a Rainbow Dragon Crystal Beast. Because remember, it's a Crystal Beast card. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love it when they're the top cards of the deck. So there we go. Now we got that. Give it another little shuffly shuffle. And again, I, I don't know how to just pick and choose like what the opponent may or may not have. Um, moving forward off this build, you do know that you're going to end up with... Uh, multiple links in your extra deck. So again, I'm already looking at being able to link three. Um, did I mess up? No, because we could special summon from there. Um, yeah, so we will go ahead and activate Reveal our Rainbow Dragon because he is a, an ultimate crystal. Uh, we can target the Carbuncle. I do th I thought there was another way where I could get... Um, maybe I should have played a Pegasus off of uh, Pegasus and just put... The, well, I don't think you could put that guy there. Yeah, no, we could have... Uh, we, we could have grabbed our Pegasus, placed the Rainbow Dragon. When summoned Pegasus, played Pegasus. Uh, off the uh, spell here, reveal, play the carbuncle out of the deck, move them forward, and then we could have had the secondary Pegasus throw another card to our back row. So yes, the answer is yes. I did do a, a slightly silly misplay because uh, I should have been able to generate another monster, uh, which would have given us four different names or close. Uh, you guys could set up into like Appaloosa, Boral Sword, Access Code Talker, um, whatever you like. Uh, when you do attack, um, if there's one that was like just really bothering you, hit it with the Crystal Keeper. Uh, it will only really work for the Pegasus. Take him up to 3k. Uh, he will get destroyed during the end phase of that. Um, when they do attack, we can summon the additional uh, Rainbow Dragon Crystal Beast as a monster and press for more attacks. Now, if this was a an instance where our opponent had no monsters because we're gold fishing... Um, or shadow drawing, I've heard that too recently. Um, what you would be able to do is actually go for game in this instance, because the opponent would take three, then you'd summon this, you'd go three, that's six, 78, 81. Um, could it have been better? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's try one more, let's go second one more time, and uh, let's see if I can't hit the right combo and actually show the consistency. Again, this is so much fun during playtest. Um, I had a lot of fun playing with this this week. Um, going into the weekend, I'll be playing the advanced format variant. Um, because I am going to go uh, help some other friends playtest. Um, see if we can't get them to be just a bit stronger. And uh, give them something new to try against. Because I don't know if any of them have access to the new structure yet. Uh, you know how it is with budgets and stuff. Okay, and we'll cut. I'm going second, so Awakening, Keeper, Awakening, Pegasus, Pegasus. Oof. It's literally a dead draw. Um, Carbuncle. So that is probably one of the worst draws I've had. Um... There's really no good way about doing this one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of let it float on that. And uh, 
really lets you know that uh, the, the best cards, I think, are the fact that we get the we do get the uh, Awakening of the Ultimates, and when you do get that paired off, it's great. Um, and additionally, what this will allow you to do in the early game, you can just choose to grab a Rainbow Bridge card. You may be deciding that you want the regular Rainbow Bridge or the new Bridge of the Heart. Again, either one is a valid target. Um, this will allow you to add a Crystal Spell Trap from deck to hand. Um, and this one allows you to get extra normal summons during the turn. And again, with opening a double Pegasus, this could be great because... Again, that's a 1-2, bringing extra cards out of the deck, placing them into the back row, getting some uh, additional advantages. Uh, playing the Rainbow Bridge would have allowed us to get to the uh, the Beacon or even the Promise. Uh, again, if we played for the Promise, one of the things you might choose to do in that instance then is to go for the Sapphire Pegasus to play the Rainbow Dragon Crystal Beast to the back row, then Promise them forward. Um, it also allows us to just simply grab a search for our crystal bond. So again, there's a lot of good strategies. I promise I'm going to make this so much better once we get into the uh, the next variant of it. So tomorrow I'll have that for you guys. And uh, seriously, just do me one favor. Just You don't even got to worry about the normal stuff I chatter about. But uh, go have a great day, my friends. Go enjoy it. Make it yours. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Later.